So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veil Titan sets for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, we already made the Titan and Hunter videos. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. We basically do what we're going to do in this video where we look at all of the individual pieces that the Veil Titan gave us and make individual sets with them. Specifically for the Titans, I ended up giving you six sets because the helmet was giving me a lot of trouble and the hunters regular four sets but i think those those four sets are really really cool speaking of which we also have the veil tithes set review which if you guys don't know we review all of the armors we look at how it looks how it shaders my personal thoughts and yeah overall we i think it's a pretty good video and then we also have the shader video which is essentially just all of the shaders that i currently own on all of the armor pieces for the titans warlocks and hunters so definitely check those videos out if you guys wanted some inspiration for the hunters or titans or if you want to see the review for the armor or the shaders as well so i really appreciate look at you looking into those videos other than that warlocks your first set's going to be the veiled tithe helmet and the bond i think this set came out really cool almost like a like a witch kind of like not even a witch like a royal mage that got betrayed something like that because it just looks so cool and menacing specifically the menacing part is because of scarlet semblance i think the shader is just such a great shader to put if you want to have like a very like stoic and evil looking guardian and for the arms we're going to be using grasp of the void for controversial controverse hold i think these look amazing with this for the chest piece unyielding favor robe is what i'm using because again i want to go for that royal like <clears throat> like like an advisor a, ma a, ma a mage advisor for a king or something and then dendrite shimmer because i wanted a little bit more bougie boots and then again for the bond we're using that one as well so i think the set came out really cool a little bit a little bit foreboding kind of like uh they're out for revenge now but yeah let me know what you guys think about this one for the next one we're gonna be using nougat delight again this i'm um, the reason i'm laughing is because for those of you who know i ended up using nougat delight for all of the classes and this one i actually have a really good reason to be using this one so for this one i ended up using blood lineage cover with the veil tithe arms i think these arms look amazing but i do have a specific theme which uh, for the chest piece, we're going to be using the Sanguine Alchemy chest piece. I think this exotic looks really, really cool, especially if you're going for a vampiric look, which is obviously what I'm doing. And then for the boots, hold fast boots, what we're using. And then for the bond, uh, ancestral bond with Chin and Slate, because I didn't want a bond here. So let me talk about this. The reason I'm using Nougat Delight is because I hate how Sanguine Alchemy takes shaders. It takes shaders really poorly. And... I did want to use red initially for this set, but unfortunately a lot of the red pieces that or a lot of the red shaders did not take well to Sanguine Alchemy. So the reason I'm using Nougat Delight is because the plate armor on the helmet looks almost exactly the same as the plate pieces for the Sanguine Alchemy. Um, and yeah, that's really it. That's the only reason because the chest piece just takes shaders really, really terribly. This whole theme is vampire themed. So the reason I'm using the arms is because I feel like that, those arms ve feel very like uh, vampiric in nature. So that's why I'm using them. And then for the boots, hold fast boots is what I'm using because I was just like, I just need boots in general. But I also like the fact that it has like bandages or not even bandages, but like straps on the hips or thighs, I mean. And I think that just looks really good. So overall, I love this set. I think it looks amazing. Probably my best vampire set yet. Uh, considering I have used blood lineage cover with sanguine alchemy quite a bit but I do think this is the best one so far just because again I think the arms look really good with it and I think the shadering looks really good so let me know what you think about this one as for the next set we're going to be using the chest piece for the veiled tithe set and I think it looks cool especially when you combine it with the blood lineage gloves they're the same color so that means you're going to combine it very naturally and then for the helmet we're going to be using the fallen sun star I think this exotic looks so cool my only gripe is that it takes shaders really bad and what i mean by that is it takes the off color of whatever shader you have so golden trace actually would have just turned it completely white and i didn't want that so i wanted some gold in there unfortunately regal daring is not a one-to-one -to, -one to the gold but it's close enough for the boots forbidden visage boots is what we're using and then for the bond blood lineage bond is what we're using so this one <clears throat> i wanted to go for another bougie look i will say forbidden visage boots is probably not the best for this one i think it's just a little too much gold on the boots 
So I cut I could have probably just used something else, a little bit more engravings. Probably the uh the Nemium boots would have been better. But I do think the set still looks really cool. Again, my only gripe is maybe just switch out the helmet's color for something else. Hopefully you can find better shadering out there. But I did want gold in here because obviously we're going for like a royal look. And yeah, I really like this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And for the last set, it's going to be a remix of a set that I made before the helmet, hood of the Taken King and the corrupting echo robes. I've used these two before and for the exotic, we've also used it before in this set, but I'm using a different ornament, which is the chimera sting for the necrotic grip. And the reason I'm using a different ornament is because I didn't want just three whole pieces to be the same. So that's why I'm using it. And I actually do think it's better off without the regular look because I think it looks really good with this set. For the boots, we're going to be using Veil Tithe's boots. I think it looks really cool with this. And then these Ciceratops bond because all everything else is pointy, so might as well have a pointy bond. So I definitely like this one a lot. For the shader, Tangled Bronze is where you're using because the Hood of the Taken King takes shaders terribly and Tangled Bronze just turns off the glow, which is cool. So I would definitely try to find a better shader. That being said, I still think it looks cool, but I would definitely try to switch it out because the veil tithe boots you can't really see the bone piece and there is bone in there so you just probably poor choice in in a in shadering but i again it's one of those things where do i want to have a cool shader that looks completely different on the helmet or do i want everything to be combined together and kind of sacrifice a little bit of the boots detail i kind of answered that so let me know what you guys think i definitely think the first one is cool I think the second one is cool as well, but I want to say that the like the last one's my favorite or the third one. The third one, if I switch out the boots, can definitely be my favorite. Overall, I think the Titan or the Warlock's got some. Overall, I think the Warlock got some pretty cool pieces. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot of these pieces in like my day to day sets. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.